I thought it would be interesting to share with you guys the first time I tried to shoot architecture because some of you might be going through that. And the first time I tried to shoot architecture, I got access to a pretty nicely designed building through an acquaintance, the main courthouse, and thought, great, here we go. I can get some great images of this. Maybe I can sell them to the architect. I can use them in you know, developing a portfolio. I get my gear that I'd purchased at that point, went to the location and started shooting. And it was weird because it was different than anything else I'd ever shot before. I hadn't ever shot architecture and I just kept having this mental traffic jam in shooting it. Everything I tried to shoot, I'd look at and it just didn't look right. With architecture, I found that it was just constantly, no matter where I moved and was trying to compose, it, it was just not working. And as I look back on it, I tried to shoot a bunch outside, I got access to go inside, I tried to shoot the interior, nothing was working and I eventually I was just like, I give up, I'm going home. I didn't even like spend much time there. Even though I had gotten access to this pretty cool building, it was too frustrating. I failed, I gave up, I went home. I don't even remember if I went back and looked at those images or not because I remember feeling such failure on site. It was just me. I, I just, I had access to this building. No one was paying me, there were no expectations. What I've kind of figured out after that is that anytime you're approaching most any other subject matter, you're either able to move the subject matter fairly easily, like you, if you're shooting a person, you can just tell them to do what you need them to do. If you're shooting an event, like a wedding or something else, it's a constantly changing dynamic and you're just like documenting a hurricane and you're moving through it and you find these you know, beautiful moments and these, these things that you very naturally connect to, human emotions and human moments. With architecture, it's a huge subject matter and it's immovable. So you become the thing, the scale just completely changed. You become the thing that has to move. You're dealing primarily with very strong angles. So it's not like a face that'll have like a nice highlight to shadow gradient or anything else. It's usually very harsh right angles. And if you have the light coming and hitting both of those angles equally, everything goes flat, it doesn't look good. In that process of that first time, I just kept running into all these issues that I didn't understand. The lighting, how much I had to change my own position to find that composition that would work. When I went inside the building, it was a completely different approach. I was moving through this space trying to find what works and I kept thinking of it in ways that I had approached previous. Uh, subject matters like small still life or people or whatever and I really didn't understand how to frame a space I didn't really understand the idea of finding a place where the person would want to put themselves in the photograph to find that and then arrange everything else around that it was extremely difficult to work on an like as an interior space capturing that in a photograph. I took the process and digested it and spit it back out and tried it again. Don't feel bad if you fail on your first attempt. Just learn from your failures and learn that, you know, it there's always going to be a learning process with any of these things that you do for the first time like I had. And again, make sure to like, subscribe and share and everything else. It helps us out a ton. Have a good day.